All right, everyone, let us begin once again. And the best part is when I check my save file here, <clears throat> it turns out that the prison we're going to is called Skelcatraz, which is, uh, if you know, Alcatraz is a high security prison that very few people make it out of. So good one, Dragon Quest, for once again showing your pun potential. Well, let's go to bed for now and see what's going to happen to us. <clears throat> the ship sways to and fro for three days and three nights. Then, on a, the fourth night, it finally makes port in a small island. Chaos and Malroth are each subjected to a thorough body search before being thrown into their gloomy jail cells. What body search? I All I'm wearing is my underwear. I can't hide any weapons of mass destruction in there. <laughs> At least, the, the like... I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, whatever. Out of bed, you bone idle bludgers. It's time for morning roll call. Oh, at least I got prison clothes. Thanks. It's your slightly smelly toilet. Have a feel around inside? Yes. Yes, plunges his hand into the pot and has a good feel around. He doesn't find anything of interest. I guess I haven't pooped in there yet. I haven't had a chance to poop. Hello, roll call. Oh, hello, prison. Hello, are you two new? Oh, you poor things. Silence, you! You know the rules. Unless you're praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy, keep those jawbones clenched. Now get yourselves to the yard for roll call or it's off to the hole with you. What's the hole? I kind of want to go to the hole. It's not the right key. Hi, can I go to the hole? I'd like to check out the hole. Oi, 6207, do us a favor and tell your friend to calm down, will ya? That numbskull doesn't listen to a word we say. Trust me, it's for his own good that he stops giving us all grief. Oh yeah? What if I give you grief? <laughs> With these fists of rage. Good to see you again, partner. This place is pretty swish, huh? We got separate bedrooms and everything. Still, I do wonder what happened to Brownbeard. Oi, boneheads, it's time for morning roll call, not idle chit-chat. Move your bony backsides. Oh, and you can go ahead and forget your old names for today onwards, your number 6207 and 6208. So go on, flare off to roll call, or you'll have me to deal with. You guys are already getting on my nerves. Well, whatever. Let's just do what he says and follow the others for now. Okay, well. Hello, skeletons. Can I work on my unarmed skill? Can I learn, uh, thin air? Boulder chuck or whatever? Older throw? I don't know. There's, you throw rocks. Okay. Roll call. Let's line up. Number 6207 and 6208. You're late! Keep this up and it'll be off to the hole with the both of you. This, that's your final warning. Right, that's everyone from block three accounted for. Let another day of bone-breaking rehabilitation begin. Oi, Twiggy, what are you yapping on about? Number 6208, I do not expect to see that jawbone of yours moving unless you're praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy. What that other guy said. Ah, uh, drop the high and mighty act, will you? I want to know where we are and why. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Now away with the both of you. You've got a long day of rehabilitation ahead of you. Any funny stuff and it'll be off with your heads. I want anyone around here give me a straight answer. Come on, let's go see what the other prisoners are up to. It sounds like hard labor, bro. What if I punch this? Punch that. Punch this. I can punch the grass! I can make my own bed! If I found a builder's workstation, which I guess it would be really weird to have one of those around here. Punch the bones! Collect the bones. Malroth, help me, help me punch these bones. Man, Malroth, you got quite the right hook there. 
<laughs> let's just collect the bones of our fellows. We'll give them a proper burial later. Or perhaps craft something out of their bones. I don't think I've made anything out of bone yet. Okay, that's a watchtower. That's a dank, dark hole. Uh, hi, I'm going over here, I guess. Thanks, bye. Wait, can I punch the barrel? No, I cannot break them. Oh wait, but I can break that. Ah, look at this, building materials. <laughs> Who needs a hammer or a stick when you've got raw power? Thanks, Malroth, for helping. Anyway, uh, I mean, technically I have infinite wood anyway, so I really didn't need to do that, but I wanted to punch something. Hello. Wait, are we growing things? I thought that that was against the law. Hey, what's up? You're late. 6207. I've heard about you. My sources tell me you're a builder. Is that so? Yeah. And an honest ants. Honest one at that. Very well. You shall work the field. Hold on, I don't get it. Aren't you guys with the children of Hargon? That was wiping my face. Come on, spit it out. What are you up to? Why are you making us do this? Silence! You should know by now that prisoners are only permitted to have forgiveness or begging for mercy. Uh, 6207, go and plant 16 cabbage seeds in the field over there. Report back to me when you are done. Like, do you guys just not know how to plant seeds? Is that why you're, oh, you're doing this? Plant, plant the seeds. Of rebellion! Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna be mad because this isn't gonna be enough to cover this whole thing and it's gonna be uneven and then I'm gonna be like, dang guys. The worst part about being a builder is seeing something that's half finished. I know I can't fix that. Sorry, excuse me, Malaroth. Ugh, couldn't you give me 20 so I could make a nice circle? <clears throat> Seeds are planted, sir. Done so soon? Tell me, how did it feel? Was your heart not filled with anticipation for the crops to come? With the simple joy of creation? Seriously, what's your deal? Uh, it's turning over a new leaf and then there's well, whatever you're doing right now. Speak again, 6208, and I will cast you into the hole myself. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, 6207. It is time for you to experience the joy of creation once more. Go and ask 784 in the storehouse for 16 more seeds to plant in the field. The storehouse is to the east of here, by the gate to the yard. Report to me when you are done with your work. Away with you! Okay, well, to the storehouse, I guess. I, I don't think I have my windbreaker. I don't. Dang it, now I can't travel super fast. Wait. Where do you numbskulls think you're going? Ah, you're on an, uh, your new inmates, aren't you? What was your number again? Uh, 6207? Yes. Good to see you've embraced your new name. Feel free to forget your old one because you won't be needing it again. I suppose you're on your way to meet 784? She's in the storehouse over there. Oh, she's in front of it. What, what, what? New fish, are you? The smile on your face gives that much away. Why, yes, I am 784. People used to call me Molly the Monster Meal Maker once upon a time. A crying shame, really? Young folk like you two don't deserve to be locked up on this rock. Listen, old timer, we need to know what's going on here. Can you tell us that much? But of course, this is Skelkatraz, a prison island used to rehabilitate anyone who dares to go against the children of Hargon. I'm starting to get sick of hearing that name. Skelkatraz is an itsy bitsy island surrounded by miles and miles of open sea. That's not to mention the steep cliffs and ravenous mermen. Plenty of people have tried to escape, but none have ever managed it. Oh yeah, the mermen beat the crap out of me, so. Ooh. I've been here a whole 40 years now. I think I got tired of staring at the sky and sea on my first day. <clears throat> I know what you mean. I'm sick of this place already. Just you watch, old timer. We'll blow this joint in no time. Oh, 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 I used to be a lot like you. Yes, back when I still had hope. 
I suppose you're both wondering why I was locked up here. Well, it all started with my love of cooking. <clears throat> I used to cook for the monsters from time to time, but then the children came along and said humans and monsters can never be friends. And that's how I ended up here. I swore I would never cook again, but I wasn't able to throw away my humanity so easily. What do you mean, I'm throwing away your humanity? Oh. Oh, 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 you'll understand one day. Near the guards beat the love of creation out of you, and then one day you wake up without any hope for the future. Ah, but that's enough misery for one day. I assume you're after some seeds, 6207? Well, here they are. Hurry along and plant them now. Yes, hmm. <laughs> it's 16 cabbage seeds. We'll be thrown in the hole if you don't hurry and plant those seeds. Go on now, go! Du, 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 planting seeds. Bonk. I feel like they're gonna be like, okay, yeah, you plant those seeds, this stuff's gonna grow, and then they're gonna be like, destruction! And then I'm like, no, but I just planted those, and now I feel feelings again. Like bad feelings, not good feelings. Now, Rock, you're sitting on my plot of land. Also, angles. Huh? I do. Oh, God, should have started from the center. Forgot this game is a little weird sometimes about things. There we go. I planted the seeds, sir. What now, sir? I trust you have planted all the seeds. Well done, but I would expect no less from a builder such as yourself. We have re-educated many an unbeliever in the children's teachings over the years. However, I do not recall ever encountering a fully-fledged builder among their number. I look forward to seeing how your rehabilitation progresses. Yeah? Is that so? Yeah, spends the rest of the day doing countless odd jobs. And then... <gasps> that will be enough for today! It is time to return to your cells, collecting your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. Be sure to rest well, another day of rehabilitation awaits you tomorrow. Third person view. I would like my meal, please. Well, if it isn't the one and only number 5932. Here, I've got a veritable feast for you. Did, did, what did you give him? A sword slash to the throat? That doesn't seem like very filling. Nah, 6207, here's your meal. I got a cabbage, a singular cabbage. And 6208, here's yours. Eat up or you'll be nothing but skin and bones before long. I can do without for a while. Here, Chaos, you should have mine. Wow, sharing right in front of this dude. Oh my, is it possible there's not a single bad bone in your body? How nice of you. You know what being nice gets you around here? It gets you no dinner. That's the last cabbage you'll be seeing for a while. Now back to yourselves, boneheads. Go through the gate and head to the right. No, Malroth. <laughs> Malroth, you need to stay strong so we can kick their stupid bony asses. Dang. Dragon Quest, go to prison simulator. Okay, well, here we go, back prison
Ew, was it just me or did it today feel like it was never gonna end? There's one thing I still don't get. Why are the children of Hargon making us plant stuff? I thought they were dead set against any kinds of creation. Oh, Lady Cooks no more said they wanted the prisoners to abandon their love of creation and follow their ridiculous teachings. This seems like a bad way of going about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's no point in wasting time wondering about it. We need to focus on getting off the island. Lulu and the others must be worried sick by now. It's time we gotta move on. Oi, you! 6208! Less yapping, more napping! <sighs> Get back to your cells this instant! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fine, fine. Nighty night, jailbirds! Everyone back to your cells. The doors will be locked till morning, so don't bother trying anything. I'll say good night then. I'm in the next cell over if you need me. Don't worry about a thing, okay? That said, what the heck happened to Brownbeard? That's enough chatting, boneheads. It's time for lights out. Good night, Malroth. And with that, the jailer locks Chaos and the other prisoners in their cells. When am I going to learn to make a skeleton key? No, we'll leave the toilet alone until I need to poop. It's sleepy time. And so, Chaos's first day on Skelkatraz comes to a close. Exhausted from being forced to work the farm from dawn till dusk, he falls into a deep slumber. On the second day, Chaos and the other prisoners water the seeds they planted the day before. On the third day, heavy rains drench the island, forcing everyone to stay inside. Instead of working the fields, the prisoners are forced to clean their entire cell block from top to bottom. Then on the fourth day, <gasps> the cabbages? Oh, he's going to destroy the cabbages. I just have a feeling that he's going to destroy our cabbages. I don't know, it's time for morning roll call. Okay. All right, numbskulls, you know the drill. Head to the yard and for roll callers. Off to the hole with you. Okay, fine. Hey, how you doing, Malroth? You doing okay? You sure you don't want any of this? At least, well, maybe because I'm not building, but it seems like my uh, hunger gauge isn't completing quite as quickly as usual. I mean, I guess I'm always doing something. Right, that's everyone from block three accounted for. Let another day of bone-breaking rehabilitation begin. <laughs> I bet you all can't wait to see how your precious cabbages have grown. Come on, I won't stop you. Get your bony backsides to the field. Okay. That means you too, 6207 and 6208. You're trying to tickle my funny bone. You picked a bad time. Stop slacking, you get to the field. Okay, fine. Jeez. What if before I talk to him? Oh, no, I can't pick them because I only have punchies. Give me stick, please. 6207, you are late. There are only so many hours in the day and we must devote every one of them to your rehabilitation. Behold the fruits of your labor. Perhaps the finest cabbage patch in creation. Yeah, I know, it's really nice. The three days you have spent nurturing those verdant vegetables were all leading up to this moment. The first step on your path to enlightenment. You see the haystack in the center of your field? I want you to light it on fire. Hey! Set it alight with this torch and bear witness to the consequences of your actions. Return to me when you have seen enough. Gather around the cabbage patch, prisoners. Open your eyes wide and witness the builder's first step on the load, long road to redemption. Dang. I don't want to do that, though. Mm -hmm. 
I did it! I got it. Oh. Now I have to light it. Wow. What a jerk. Set fire to the haystack. What are you playing at? You spent ages growing those cabbages. Why would you set fire to them? Oh look, they're all burning. <laughs> How could you? Them cabbages were like children to me. I was so looking forward to harvesting them all. Why would you do such a thing? I don't understand it. You were the one who planted those cabbages in the first place. He's some kind of monster. Oh, so the, he's making the builder. Splendid, 6207. Now come to me, my child. How does it feel, 6207? Does your soul scream? Does your heart ache? This is the true delight of destruction. No need to hold it in. You may cry out in joy if you wish. After all, this is the moment of your rebirth. What? You can just plant new cabbages to replace the old ones? <laughs> Bold words indeed. You may take the rest of the day off, but I suggest you use the time wisely by staring deep into the darkest recesses of your soul. No, I think I'm gonna find a way to build stuff. Who does that whack job think he is? Making you plant a load of cabbages and then burn them. Three full days you spent growing those. Three full days, and for what? I've had it up to here with the children of Hargon. They've made everyone's lives a misery on the furrow field and crumbled on. And now it's the same story here. What's their problem? But that old biddy who gave us the seeds knows what they're all about. Come on, let's go talk to her. I mean, she has been around for 40 years. Awful long time. All right, let's see. Hi, I have a torch now. I can burn things if I wish. Hi. So they finally made you burn your cabbages, did they? That's what this talk of rehabilitation and rebirth boils down to. Making you see how futile all your acts of creation really are. Creation leads to attachment. Attachment leads to fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering and the dark side also. That's why the children of Hargon believe creation to be evil. And it's a belief they're keen to spread. Huh, well if they're so big on destruction, how about we smash their skulls in and get out of here? It won't do you any good. I told you before that nobody's ever escaped this place, right? There's only two ways to get off this rock. Die, or hand over your heart and soul to the children of Hargon. If I ever meet this Hargon guy, I'm gonna have a word with him about his kids. Who the heck is he, anyway? The High Priest Hargon is the father of all destruction. Though they say that no one in this world has ever actually seen him in the flesh. So you're saying these monsters are so dumb they worship someone they've never even seen? Ugh, that's enough. Stop asking questions, just, just accept things for what they are. In time, you'll get used to it and become numb to everything, just like me. Go on and have a nice sit on that bench. It'll be dusk before you know it. No, I'm actually gonna freaking cook. Do, 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 do. We're cooking. I'm gonna light that on fire. Destruction! Destruction. Oh. A shield! I have the pot lid shield. Give me defense. Just saying it. Malroth, you want some of this, boy? Oh, I ate it! I cooked food! Did you see that? Did you see me cook food? Oh, is the fire still burning? Oh! Destruction. Wanton destruction. We're done for the day. We might as well just kick back on this bench and wait for nightfall. What do you say, Chaos? Shall we wait here until the sun goes down? Yes. Right, let's put our heads together and think about our next move. Like, burning this whole place down. That will be enough for today! It is time to return to your cells! Collect your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. 
Be sure to rest well. Another day of rehabilitation awaits you tomorrow. Don't worry about my shield. Dang, that fire is literally going to burn everything in there. Well, if it isn't the one and only number 5932. Here, I've got a veritable feast for you. Ah, uh, 6207, here's your sumptuous supper. A cabbage. And good evening, 6208. Enjoying your cabbage-free diet? You won't be getting anything today, either. Girl, I got you. Oh, man. I'm gonna cook you a good cabbage meal. Oh, gee, the fire is still going! Well... I did it, guys. Uh, I can't have that sconce. Oh, it's still burning over here, too. Oh, it's... Oh, wow, it's jumping everywhere. Well, sorry about the storehouse. But not really. You guys are jerks. I need a stick. Somebody give me a nice stick. Yeah. How you guys like that? You like me cooking? Well, then why didn't it let me put it in there? Remove. Okay. Well. Anyway, bye. Matt Roth, are you, are you sure you're okay? You haven't had any cabbages or anything. Okay, bye. Skelly man. Don't worry about me being under here. Over here. Yeah, I know. I'm going back to my cell. Don't worry. Jeez, calm your skull. Are we gonna talk some more, Malroth? I feel like we we need to hatch a plan soon. Any night, jailbirds. Everyone back to your cells. Yeah, locked until morning. A waste of a day. Can't wait to get off this stupid rock. I don't know when, but our chance will come someday. To stay alert and alive, we can take it. And with that, the jailer locks Chaos and the other prisoners in their cells. Yes, is there anything in there? No, I still don't have anything in my smelly toilet. And so Chaos's fourth day on Skelcatraz draws to a close. He lies down in a straw bed, thinking of Lulu and the others back on the Isle of Awakening. As he closes his eyes, he swears to himself that he will escape Skelcatraz as soon as he possibly can. How soon is that? Like tomorrow? I'd be okay with that soon. Uh... Hello. Yeah, but, but time for morning roll call. <clears throat> roll call or off to the hallway. Yeah, let's go. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna be first. Oh, maybe. Another catching up. Ready for my rehabilitation. <laughs> Slow pokes. Right, that's everyone from Block 3 accounted for. I must say, yesterday was quite something. It really warmed my bones seeing those cabbages go up in flames like that. Destroying your own creation is a noble act indeed. Now, let another day of bone breaking rehabilitation begin. I need a shiv. Can anybody here make me a shiv? You there, 6207 to 6208. Get your bony backsides to the farm. Looking forward to seeing your progress, you know. Can't wait for the day when that faint light of hope in your eyes is extinguished. Can I use the gallows? Like, let me take one of the... Let me take one of the blades from there. Excuse me, coming through. What do you got for me today, sir? 
Good morning, 6207. You know, it's been five days now since you joined us on the path to salvation. In honor of this milestone, I'm going to allow you to work the fields again today. Doesn't that sound fun? 32 cabbage seeds. You will be planting cabbage seeds once more. Yes, 32 of them. Now hurry up and get to work. What if instead I just like ate them? Also, these guys are working this field, but it's bad. It's not. It's, it's just not good. I gotta say, I felt great since yesterday. Freeing myself of my worldly possessions was just what I needed. There's nothing tying me down now. I'm as high as a kite. Why don't you follow my example? Come on, you'll love it. I don't know about that. Okay, time to plant more seeds. It's only slightly monotonous. Got a meme off. Saving my meals for the big riot that's probably gonna happen later, maybe, possibly. Where did they put my cool dragon armor, though? There's gotta be a chest full of my- well, to be fair, it would have to be multiple chests full of my stuff. Actually, no, it would just be the one, because all my other stuff is on the little baggie on the Isle of Awakening. Well, when, it, when you can predict it, when you know you're just gonna keep, like, making cabbages and burning them, it's not really that spooky. You guys could work on your methods. I mean, it's kind of boring, to be honest. I trust you have planted all the seeds. Splendid! You're so eager to burn them in a glorious hellfire that you planted them in double time! <laughs> I shall reward your efforts by giving you some free time. Run along and do as you please. I am well aware that you humans cannot help but think about yourselves when left to your own devices. A period of self-reflection is necessary from time to time for sinful prisoners such as yourselves. Enjoy coming face to face with your own futile existence, 6207. Hey, what are we doing today? Free time for self-reflection, some reward. Now I love twiddling my thumbs, so many questions come into my mind. Like, how did I end up on the Isle of Awakening to begin with? And how come I'm the only one who can't build stuff? Yeah, I guess you're right. This is exactly what the wacko wants me to be doing. Self-reflection is for idiots. Let's stop doing it right now. Let's work out how we're gonna get off this rock instead. One of the prisoners here is bound to have tried escaping before. Try asking around for ideas. This guy feels like he's probably not gonna be any help. I'm trying to learn more about Skelkatraz. Hmm. All of us here on Field Duty are fairly recent arrivals, so none of us are that knowledgeable about the place, to be honest. Why don't you try talking to Ma? I mean, uh, 784 in the storehouse. She's bound to know something us newcomers don't. Can I be honest with you? I ain't really feeling up to it today. Lucky for me, I got just the thing to cheer myself up after our day of Dar's crap. Or I can't wait till bedtime. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What? You want to know if there's a way off the island? Keep your voice down. What if one of the jailers hear you? Do you want to spend some quality time in the hole that badly? You say there's a crazed hammerhead they keep locked up down there. I definitely wouldn't want to share a cell with it, that's for sure. I should go down there and get that hammer. Anyway, I really should get back to work before someone tells me off. Stop distracting me. How about you? You're probably going to be mad at me. Let me fill you in on how the children turn humans into believers. First, they start by giving you the tiniest hint of hope. Then they sit back and let that hope grow until you start to believe things might work out for the best. That's when they smash your dreams to pieces. That's exactly what the Cabbage Patch was for. So many tiny gre dream green dreams, all gone. I have to admit it works. Oh boy, how it works. Oh, that's sad. That's very sad. Hey Molly, uh, sorry about your storehouse. Look at you two sauntering around without a care in the world. You've made yourselves right at home, haven't you? Someone's always watching you here, but you also get a surprising amount of time to yourself. That's a calculated move on their part, of course. Why? Seems like they could do a lot worse than just leaving us to reflect on how bad we've got it here if they really wanted to. 
Let me put it this way. If it was all stick and no carrot, the prisoners would only grow to despise the children. Now that I think of it, why are you talking to me anyway? How many times do I have to tell you? There's no way off the island. Honestly, you're going to have to give up on the silly dream of yours sooner or later. There's a slime over there. You might be a builder, but you're alone soon enough that doesn't bring you any benefits here. Builder? Hmm? Who said that? The slime looks like he wants to be my friend. Yeah! Oh, it's just a slime. Didn't know you had them on Skelkatras. What? 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 Looks like it's taking quite a shine to you. Heaven knows why. Hmm, let's try something out then. Here, take this. Make more monsters ma- Wrangler's Ring? What? I had been keeping it well hidden from the gods just in case I ever needed it. That Wrangler's Ring lets you make friends with monsters, provided they're interested in making friends first. And if you feed them some monster munchies, you'll seal the deal. Why don't you try giving the slime some of these monster munchies and see what happens? Go on. I got a serving of monster munchies. There are some monsters who'll want to befriend you after you defeat them. Feed them some monster munchies and they'll join your party. Oh. Chaos befriends the slime. Yay! Slime joins Chaos's team. Yeah! Whoa. Okay. Monster party. Here we come. Oh, name. You know what we're gonna name you? You're gonna be Smiles. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to make new friends, I suppose. Yum yum! Monster Munchie's my favorite! I'm not a bad slime, you know, I promise! Is what you thought I was going to say, wasn't it? My name's Splodger Splodgington Ooze Choir, by the way. Don't be thinking you can give me any old silly nickname, Goomin. That said, Smiles isn't too shabby. All right then, I'll take it. It's not like anyone oozes their real name around here anyway. Blow me down, it's him. Old Gottfried Slimy Sidekick. Gottfried? You're a builder, right? I bet we could get off this island if we squished our heads together. Let me help you escape. <laughs> the slime would be any use to us. I think you'll find I'll come in very oozeful indeed, Mr. Malroth. Let's talk later. The jailers tend to drop their guard after the sun goes down. If you don't have anything better to do, just sit on the bench over there. It'll be sunset and new slime. Oh, and one more thing. If the screws see me with you, they might think I'm up to no goo. I'll squeeze myself into your rags and lie low until night slime. Oh, you never know he was in there. Maybe that slime will come in handy after all. Well then, why don't we do as Smile says and have a seat on the bench over there? Where's the slimy bracelet thing? Oh, well, sit on the bench. Done for the day? Yeah, might as well kick back. Yeah, we'll wait here. We got nothing else to do. Right, yeah, let's think about our next move with Smiles the Slime. And another day of rest. <clears throat> I want to know how to make those monster munchies, though. Uh, yeah, veritable feast again. You're gonna be an ass to Malroth, because that's what you do. How many days is he not going to be able to eat? Oh man, leave my friend alone. Yeah, I know, we're going back to ourselves. Oh yeah, I can run. I forgot about that. 
Yeah, I know. I'm going. I'm going. Woo! Yeah, nighty night. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. That's the night we get our plan underway. No idea how much of a help that slime will be. I'm sure we'll get off this rock one way or another. After all, that pyramid of ours isn't gonna build itself. You know, Digby and Ordelli are gonna slack off about to do crack with the whip. Yeah, your jawbone. So it's good night. The rest is up to you. Find us a way off this idiotic island. That's enough chatting, boneheads. It's time for lights out. I know, that's what we're doing. And with that, the jailer locks Chaos and the other prisoners in their cells. Time for Betty buy you buys you horrible lot. If I catch you yapping, it'll be after the hole with you. Oi, 6207. Oh. You want to escape from here, don't you? Then Betty Buys will have to wait. Happen to know that there's a sloop or a special secret hidden somewhere in your cell. Take a goo look around and see if you can find it. It's in the toilet! There's a switch in the toilet! There's not a switch in the toilet. There's the shackles. Door shut fast, it won't open. It's not in the toilet. It's super secret. What if it's under the bed? Good work, now take a closer look at the floor. It's made of sand! I bet I can punch sand. Look at my fist of rage! Great! That's the hole I was hoping you'd find. What are you waiting for? Go on down. <gasps> is that a bench? How is it down there? An old gooman friend of mine dug this tunnel in secret. Check that pot over there for more oozeful information. And poop! I think by the terrible stench, this pot seems to have been used as a prisoner's toilet. Have a feel around inside? Yes! What luck! Chaos finds a slightly soiled piece of paper. Yay! Slightly soiled note. Gross. What does it say? So you found something, have you? Try splattening it out on that simple small table and see what it says. Ooh! Go on then, take a closer look. What does it say? Mission, escape from Skelcatraz. I am the escapologist extraordinaire. No prison penitentiary or pail of water can hold me. Tonight I shall attempt my most daring getaway yet. I shall escape from Skelcatraz. None other has ever achieved this feat. It pains me to leave my slimy sidekick behind, but take, but such is the lot of a professional powder taker. Yeah. These feet were made for fleeing, and that's just what they'll do. I will succeed! Of that there is no doubt. However, should by some fatal fortune my mission fail, I implore whosoever finds this letter to do what I could not. Yours fleetingly, Gottfried, escapologist extraordinaire. Gottfried got caught by the children of Hargoon on purpose so that he could come to the Skelcatraz, break out, and prove himself to be the best escape artist of all time. But his plan failed. He disappeared, and no blobby has seen him ever since. Now he's admired Gottfried. I've been waiting for someone to carry on his legacy ever since he vanished. Please, 6207, don't let my friend's dreams be squelched. Tell me you'll finish what Gottfried started and escape from Skelcatraz. You will, won't you? Yeah. Great! Let's get going, then. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna need a hammer. Now, I don't want to ruin the moment, but we're in a bit of a tricky situation. Skelcatraz is surrounded by miles and miles of ocean. Even if we do manage to escape, we won't be gooing anywhere without a boat. What's that? The children of Hargon seized a boat you were on when they caught you. That's Slooper! If your ship's being held somewhere nearby, we can ooze it to make our getaway. Still, I'm surprised you were sailing the seas in the first place. Brother Argon don't allow goomans to ooze boats, you know. 
But it's worked out in favor of all this slime. All we have to do now is find a way out of here and find your ship. Gottfried's tunnel oozed to be a lot longer than this. Maybe you could ooze your fist to break through any sand that's blocking the way. Like this sand? Oh, I can punch that too. Oh, mushroom. Thanks for the mushroom. Bone. Ugh. Ow, sorry about punching the rocks. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a hammer. Which means we're probably gonna get one from that hammer hood. Am I gonna have to make my iron hammer again? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's a torch. I was like, is that daylight? Am I already that far into this? Look at all these delicious mushrooms I can feed to Malroth once they're properly depoisoned. Intrigue, mystery, punching. All of this can be yours in Dragon Quest Builders too. Also, blocks. Okay, smash, smash, smash. What's this room? What is it? Oh, ruins? So this is where the tunnel leads. Let's have a moosey around this building and see if we can find a way out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's sleepy boys over here. There's no response. It's just a corpse. Oh, they're corpses. I thought they were sleeping. They're not sleeping. They're dead. Also, I got, I swear I got to level 20. Why am I level 19 again? I guess it didn't count. Gauss reads the sign. This is the incinerator. No matter the manner of a prisoner's death, whether by old age or bad luck, the cleansing fires shall give them new life as willing warriors for the high priest Hargan. Message ends here. Whoa, is this how they turn people into skeletons? An incinerator, huh? Just the thought of being thrown on that furnace makes you turn to jelly. Well, what if? Oh, can I not go over there? There's a treasure chest, though. I really want to go into the incinerator. I need to get over. Oh, is that his corpse? Oh, no, that's Brownbeard. Uh, we gotta get to brown beer. Come here. Ah, okay, there's another path. Run, brown bear! No oh, splat, it's locked! <laughs> Store leads to the outside world. My news doesn't lie. If only we could unlock it. We might be able to escape. Huh? You didn't know that slimes had nooses? Have you forgotten we are, where we are right now? Make yourself oozeful instead of asking a silly question. Hmm, someone's there. I can feel it in my bones. Oh no! It's one of the screws. Quick, hide! Now come out wherever you are. Is that a cat? Meow. Meow. Oh, just a kitty, eh? Go on, scram! Where did that cat come from? I want a cat! Ew, nearly sludge myself there. Hmm. Alright, oh, this door just opens, though. That's Brownbeard! Brownbeard! You're not a corpse! Ugh, everything's so topsy turkey. I don't. Whoa, where am I? Guy's risen from the dead and he's talking to Ooze! Why, if it isn't me first mate, Chaos! Good to see you're alive and licking. Hmm, he isn't a corpse, he was just asleep. The screws must have thought he was dead and brought him down here. What's all this docks of corpses? Where is here, anyhow? And where's me ship? 
Oh, I see. This ghoulman must be the captain of your ship. Follow us, Captain. I'm going to find a way out of here. Why don't we call it a night for now? Don't forget, if you're, you're a prisoner, if you're not back in your cell, come morning, the screws will notice. We found that door. That's a goo first step. Just need to think about how to get it open. But right now, we need to focus on getting back to your cell. Let's goo! Let's goo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all a lot to take overboard. I never imagined I'd get locked up on Skelkatraz. In fact, I've never even been caught the current of the place. Got current of the place, yeah. Speaking of which, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Chaos. Wasn't Hargon supposed to have been defeated by three scions of Erdrick? If so, how come his crew is still in charge of every island we make starboard at? Seems like you too many to just be stragglers. I thought you were the ship's captain, not a historian in hiding. Maybe you should stick to what you're used to. Speak of the angel! Where in the eleventy seas is me beloved ship? That beautiful boat is me best friend, just like Malroth is to chaos. Keep the noise down, will you? We're trying to escape here. Oh, Captain, we're going to find your ship sooner or later. The only way we can sail away from this island. So slop our gooing and do what I tell you. This friend of yours is quite the bossy knickers, ain't he, Chaos? Reminds me of a certain young lady. I can hear you, you know. Less talking and more walking. Yes, sir, Mr. Slime, sir. Okay, 6207, me and the captain will go on ahead. Follow the route we ooze to get here, and we'll see you under your cell. Okay, we made it. Not bad for a night's work. Let's goo over what we learned so far. Trying to open your cell door is too risky, but you can goo through this tunnel to the crematorium, which is a door leading to the outside. So all we need to do is get that door open, right? Exactly. If we had a key, we'd be one step closer to glorious freedom. So what do we do once we're out in the open? Hot leg it to me ship and keep our thumbs crossed so we don't get caught? No, Cap'n, no! If we want to make it out here like my goo friend Gottfried, we we'll need to dig our way to freedom. Opening the door is just the first step. The only way we're going to get under your, to your boat is through this tunnels under Chaos's cell. We can't dig any further with just our bare hands. So we have to open the door, search for our way to open the tunnels, and Bob's our uncle! Precisely! Nice to see you know how to listen after all, Captain. Once we find the key for that door, everything will fall into place. You like finding it. I'll stay down here with smiles and keep out of eyesight. Give Malaroth the regards, won't you? When you get back to your cell, be sure to fill in the hole and cover it with your straw bedding. We don't want to screws to catch wind of our plan. Okay, well... I got a good, great. That's the hole taken care of. You really are a builder, aren't you? If anyone's capable of realizing my goo friend Gottfried's dream, it's you. I mean, I mean it. Six two zero seven. No, chaos. Let's escape from Skelkatraz and wave this island goodbye forever. All right, time to sleep. Woo! We made a lot of progress, actually. And so, Chaos's fifth night on Skelkatraz draws to a close. He dreams of burning bones, locked doors, and blocked tunnels. Of everything that stands between him and his freedom. And he dreams of all his friends on the Isle of Awakening, anxiously waiting for him to come home. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> Out of bed, you bone owl bludgers, blah, 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 the usual. But I think we're about hitting, yeah. We're, we're at about an hour again. I think before we get into the full swing of escaping, we'll probably stop for now and then see how far we get next time. But yeah, it started off kind of slow, but this prison sequence is definitely picking up. So I hope to see you guys the next time for the next Dragon Quest two build builders to oh god you know what i'm saying i'll see you for the next recording thank you so much for being here and let's continue on later